Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Lansangan from Techno Buffalo, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the rugged Galaxy S6 Active. While it mostly rocks the same internals as its more attractive brother, the Galaxy S6, there are some major hardware differences. Today, we'll talk about the difference between the two devices and see why the Active actually offers some big advantages. At first glance, you'll notice that the Galaxy S6 Active is more rugged and not quite as luxurious looking as its brother, the Galaxy S6. The S6's glass and metal body has been replaced with an armored plastic material with inserts of rubber that makes it easier to hold. There's also a nice textured material on the back that helps to achieve the same effect. The power button on the right hand side of the device is a bit longer than the one on the Galaxy S6 and there's also a new active button on the left hand side above the volume buttons which you can customize to launch any app of your choice. The headphone jack has also been moved up to the top of the phone while the USB port has remained on the bottom. Moving up front, the Galaxy S6's fingerprint scanner has been replaced by three dedicated hardware buttons, one for multitasking, a home button, and a back button. It sucks that there's no fingerprint scanner, but given that this phone is designed for the more outdoorsy type, hardware buttons make sense. One of the main differentiating factors of the Active line is its design, and the S6 Active is the farthest thing from the beauty of the Galaxy S6. It essentially looks like the Galaxy S6 was plated in armor, ensuring it can withstand the everyday perils of smartphone ownership, and then some. The S6 Active is taller, wider, and thicker than the Galaxy S6, and it comes with an IP68 certification, which means it's dust and water resistant. That means that you can drop the S6 Active onto a sandy beach or submerge the S6 Active in up to 1.5 meters of water for up to 30 minutes without compromising the device, which is pretty awesome. While the differences in exterior are quite noticeable, the internals are fairly similar. Both the Galaxy S6 and S6 Active have the same octa-core Exynos processor, a 5.1-inch Super AMOLED QHD display, 16-megapixel camera with OIS, 5-megapixel ultra-wide-angle front-facing camera, and 3 gigabytes of RAM. However, there are two main differences between the two devices. One, the regular Galaxy S6 offers two more storage options, 64 and 128 gigabytes of internal storage, while the Galaxy S6 Active only offers a 32 gigabyte variant. Two, the Galaxy S6 Active has a larger 3,500 milliamp battery, while the standard Galaxy S6 offers a much smaller 2,550 milliamp battery. Sure, there are big aesthetic differences, but by and large, the phones perform about the same. You still get TouchWiz on top of Android 5.0.2 out of the box, while the camera experience is exactly the same. You'll still be able to quickly launch the camera by pressing on the home button twice, which is a very convenient feature to have. The pre-installed apps are similar as well with the addition of Activity Zone on the S6 Active, which shows weather information, elevation levels, a button to toggle on the flash, and more. The active screen looks identical as well, it's vivid, contrasty, and very detailed despite the change in design. Swiping through the screen isn't as smooth as it is on the Galaxy S6 and Samsung added a little lip around the S6 active screen, but nonetheless it still looks amazing. The real bummer here is that the S6 Active is an AT&T exclusive device, so if you're using T-Mobile, Sprint, or Verizon, you're pretty much out of luck. If you're someone who finds themselves outdoors more often than not, the Galaxy S6 Active is a nice alternative to the beauty and grace of the more premium Galaxy S6. If there's anything else you guys want to see with the Galaxy S6 Active, let us know in the comments down below, and if you guys haven't already checked out our unboxing of the device, you can see that over here. Before we end this video, I wanted to let you guys know that we are selling a limited edition Techno Buffalo shirt. It's got the awesome B logo and the Techno Buffalo logo in the back, so it's super awesome. You guys could rock a Buffalo shirt and rep Techno Buffalo. Check out the link in the description below to pick one up.